Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 16th of November 2020. We will have um, two cards per day every day of this week. So Monday the 16th of November for you Capricorn. Three of Swords, Tuesday with the Empress. Knight of Pentacles, Wednesday. Page of Swords, Thursday. Knight of Swords, Friday. Seven of Pentacles, Saturday. The Tower, Sunday. Ten of Swords. Look, Capricorn, some situation, something very hurtful, something offensive was in your life and it did hurt you. It's not going to happen again, but you feel, you feel offended, you feel hurt, heartbroken. There's heartache on, on, on Monday, that's for sure, and it is related to the situation. Even if it's over, you are still not healed with time. Yes, you will be. But not this week. This week it's going to be pain. It's You feel pain in your heart. Not three of swords with a knight of wands. The empress with five of swords. Knight of pentacles. Knight of pentacles with the high priest. Page of swords. With six of cups. Now, Knight of Swords, Friday, with Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles on Saturday, with Two of Wands, and the Tower, Sunday, with the Magician. Interesting. Three of Wands that we have. Something new, new endeavor that you have in your mind, that you have within yourself. That's what you are about. That's what you are about. And perhaps these difficulties, these worries, this exhaustion, these this troubles that you used to have, perhaps for some time, uh, with people, with um, your job, with your career, with your private life. It was difficult and at this point your influencing energy says it's over. But as I said, you are still paining there. It's still pain for you. You remember that you will need time to heal. But Knight of Wands is excitement. Maybe it's actually somebody else coming toward you, towards you. Maybe your partner, your love partner is coming towards you with this heartbroken because this Knight of Wands is very jumpy from one side to another, from one person to another. That could be your problem, Capricorn, for some of you. But I really think the Three of Swords is kind of extension of this influencing energy, of these difficulties that you used to have and that you are still painting. That's what I said. You will need some time to heal yourself you are with your ideas you've got your ideas that everything will be fine you'll meet another person or you'll have another go with this career and business whatever that is being optimistic optimistic being excited being this is creative person having ideas about your good life and enjoying it all right, this Knight of Wands could be very random, quite hectic, but maybe just because you feel that you are, your heart is aching, that you cannot find one place for yourself, and that's why you want to be busy all the time. So, you know, you are not thinking much about this, what, what, is, um, what hurts you. Could be for some of you something like that, for, that you're trying to escape this, that heartache, but by being busy and doing things all the time, you know, could be for some of you that is very common reaction when you are uh, kind of hurting. The Empress and Five of Swords. Now, Five of Swords is this kind of mean energy representing, um, representing gossip, stabbing in the back, um, envies, jealousy, being mean towards another for some reason. An empress is there, somebody is there that you, you are coming up very bitter towards. It could be your mother, 
Now you are going towards your mother and you are very bitter. You complain about something. Why did you do that? Why did you? You've got this fighting spirit. You've got these words, but they really, they can cut deep with five of swords. Always feeling kind of, feeling as a winner. If you manage to offend another, to bring him down, you really feel as a winner. You know, that kind of bringing another one to look like loser. That sort of, I mean, energy that is... Um, that is petty and, and poor and unpleasant, that kind of moment on Tuesday. And you are directing your energy towards somebody who really loves you. It's your mother, your grandmother, something that is your home, somebody who really loves you. You are maybe complaining that this person is not doing enough for you because this is rather this empress energy in here is uh, rather passive. You are maybe dependent here, you are depending on this person, maybe you wanted this person to do something for you, your mother, grandmother, or somebody at your home, or somebody uh, like that, and you didn't get what you expected from this person. Maybe you're blaming this person that it hasn't done enough for you. It's a sort of blame game here with this person, with this empress, with somebody who's a bit older in your life, and as I said, usually it's your, your mother. But you are very unpleasant. You are very unpleasant. You are blaming this person. You're pointing finger. And you are, um, you have got this very sharp, sharp wording here. Tuesday. Not nice day. Now, Knight of Pentacles with the High Priest. Now, this is very solid one. Capricorn suits you well. Knight of Pentacles is this practical work. That practicality of this life, of your life, suits you well. This is kind of situation that arise about money. Something appear in your life that can perhaps, that it has potential to bring money. It's still job to be done, but it can be very lucrative. It can bring money, it can be, bring prosperity with Knight of Pentacles. It does have slow pace. Knight of Pentacles is nothing, nothing fast. Everything goes slowly, but it suits you. That's how you like. With the, with the high priest, which is the hierophant, you like everything to be proper, doing right way, traditional way, way you used to do, where everybody is happy with situation or with outcome out of that situation. You see what I'm saying? Could also be that somebody is coming towards you for advice, because this is often advisor, the Hierophant, being more spiritual, more being a guide to this person than real. It's not real knowledge that we are talking about. It's more life experience. You are guiding this person in its life. I don't know, for some reason, could be for some of you, that you are a guide to this person. Knight is somebody like uh, um, around 30s, somewhere in its 30s. But you are the advisor in here. You are intelligent, even spiritual, one who understands life. You are passing your life experience to this person. Could be something that is job related and you've got a junior colleague that you have to teach that skill, that particular skill at work or something like that. Page of Swords for you with Six of Cups. Page of Swords is news again, comes your way, something that will change your mind, something that comes very quickly. You know, this news, it could be that you just saw it somewhere by the way in, in this newspaper or on the TV. You, you heard the, the, um, somebody speaking and it meant something for you, meant something uh, so much that many that managed to change your mind in some regard. With Page of Swords, usually bring some sort of change, change of mind. Now, Six of Cups, you are good in here. You're kind of pleased with yourself, remembering your childhood, uh, thinking about people from your childhood, your siblings around you. Maybe that that kind of situation that comes up here, related to, to your childhood. Something that you knew from your childhood, perhaps you are changing opinion about that person that you knew from long long time ago. You used to go to school with this person and you know it as such and such. Now something comes up and you are changing opinion about that person, about that situation. 
something new info is that and it changes your mind about that kind of school days, your childhood, some events from some time ago. Knight of Swords with Queen of Pentacles. Now Queen of Pentacles is within you and that's very nice. This is very stable, very uh, grounded energy of this person. Um, you, it's, it's not much visible. Nobody is really noticing that somebody is around doing things, but everything is done end of the day. This person is just like that, very subtle and very responsible, very caring. Queen of Pentacles, often lovely business mind, excellent boss, one who cares about people, lovely um, um, head of family, budgeting, taking care of spouse, children, pets, you see what I'm saying? The whole household, very responsible person, suits you Capricorn, uh, absolutely suits you. But this, this Knight of Swords is bringing situation up and it is sudden. Knight of Swords always carries positive and negative together. This uh, energy you cannot all you cannot you can never say this is absolute positive or absolute negative. It's going to be situation that we rise up. In a way, it will be good. In a way, it will be annoying. It will push you to rush f on something, and you won't like it. But you might like results of that. That what follows. You know, something that appears and it says must and now. You don't like that moment when you have to just wake up, stand up and do that now and you must. You don't like it. But end results, that what is done it's, is for your benefit. You see what I'm saying? With the Knight of Swords, it it's always goes together. Good and bad goes together. You cannot divide it ever. Seven of Pentacles with uh, two of Wands. Now this is waiting for this decision. You've done what you're supposed to do. Like, look, if you apply for this visa, for this work permit, and you send all your paperwork, everything, you've done everything that you're supposed to do. You paid what you needed to pay for this application. All done. Now you are just waiting for this decision. It's nothing you can do, nothing to speed up this process. And you are waiting for results. You are waiting for something very major. It's either that you are um, registering partnership in this business with another person or you're just opening your own business, you know, but you have big plans for that business. You want to emigrate in another country and you just uh, put all your applications there and you're waiting for approval or whatever decision. There is decision here that you are waiting for. You can do nothing about it. But on this day, is all on your mind. Now the tower, a moment, and the magician. With these two, you do have crisis in here, in your environment. Something is happening in your environment, and it's dramatic. Dramatically, it's breaking down something that you build on. And not just you, it is your environment. There's people around you involved in here. Some sort of relationship, some sort of partnership. People involved in here, it was built a lot, uh, um, lasted a lot, that believing in this situation, that was rather false belief that you understand now on Sunday, but you did believe and you built on it. You invested of yourself, other people too. You see what I'm saying? It's breaking down. This is understanding on this day, you understand it's not going to happen. It's crisis, moment of shock, Sunday just comes up but you are handling that you are just magically handling that crisis moment situation that that is devastating you are handling situation you are finding solution and solution is right for everybody solution is right there being mastering this difficult situation that is your sunday but by all means you will be having this difficult situation maybe you'll receive some negative answer for this uh, that that what you are waiting for perhaps you are receiving negative answer um, but i mean it's saturday and sunday that we're talking about i really feel that it is something in your private life we are dragging this ten of swords into three of swords into tower end of the week you see what i'm saying you 
do have something very unpleasant in your environment and if it breaks down by Sunday you will be ready for every eventuality you'll handle the situation no matter what you will be up to this task up to this challenge but there will be challenge on Sunday by all means uh, Capricorn just enjoy your week